attacking but I'm gonna have to grind it down grind it down because I want it to be pretty smooth. Hello, welcome back to another episode. Um still working on stuff for the uh, church auction. Um I think I have enough time. It's not till tomorrow. You can deliver it. And I've been wanting to make one of these just to see how it turns out. I'm going to try it. Uh, I was going to use um, some of the inch and a quarter square tube, but for the first one, I think I'm just going to use flat bar. That way I don't have to worry about capping the ends or anything like that. Um, but I'm going to make a cross. Um, actually, I'm going to make a whole crucifix, and I'm going to try um, to bend some uh, the body or the corpus out of the... Uh, rod here. Um, if that doesn't work, then I might use some a bolt and something else for the thing. Uh, then, then I'll get that done um, and put it in for the silent auction. So um, we'll see how it turns out. But um, cross proportions. There's kind of two school of thoughts on it. Um, it's a one, you know, a one two two or a one two three. So really, it just changes the length of your cross. Um, I like the one that's shorter. Um, the the taller one kind of just I don't know it looks not not right to me <laughs> so um, that just it makes it look like the cross piece is up higher um, and it's a lot farther so so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a 12 inch cross so it's gonna be 12 inches and then each side is gonna be three and a half inches and then you'll come down three inches from the bottom I think or maybe it's four no it's three because you want it to be a quarter a quarter of the way down so um, the center of it. So you come down there. So right now I'm just gonna get that marked out at 12 and then two three and a half inch pieces. Okay, put your mark on the other side so you can see. Doing wrong here. I can't see my mark. There we go. Now you can rest it up against there and see your mark. I'm gonna have to grind it down because I want it to be pretty smooth. You're gonna attack the other corner or no? Okay. You see, we we'll start well. Let's start on this side, and that tacks it. The more tacks you have, the, hot, the less good the weld looks. Yeah. yeah? Sorry. 
hate when it snaps in my hand. Okay. So you should... Okay, we got Caitlin out here with her art abilities to get these proportions correctly um, so that it looks somewhat right. Yeah, same. Um, all right, so now we just uh, need to find us something for a head. Probably we tried this, but it doesn't really look right on there. <laughs> so we're going to maybe get a bigger washer or, or something. So. Okay, I think she got it. Up there. Like that. You're in the light. Yeah, I think that's fine. Yeah, that'll look pretty good. Uh, what we ended up doing was drilling a hole here to hang it with, of course. And then we ended up drilling a hole in the back just to tack him on um, and keep him on there good and strong. So that way we don't have uh, burnt marks and stuff over here. And uh, it just makes it look a little bit nicer, I think. So I'm just going to wire wheel, get the rest of that mill scale off, spray him with some clear. Uh, I got some gloss clear uh, poly coat or whatever. So I'll just do that just to keep it... Um, from rusting and stuff if there's humidity in the house or wherever just take an idea and you know if you don't want a crucifix you know don't put that on there um, you can make different shapes um, you know maybe you could if you had some sheet metal you could make that one where it kind of fans out to triangles um, but um, just a starting point here um, nice little craft um, easy I mean we did this this evening so it took us about mm, I don't know an hour or two of course, he was trying to do the deer feeder and stuff on the back of the hitch and everything at the same time. So, all right. Well, hope you enjoyed. Please like, subscribe, leave comments below on things you like. Um, you know, and we'll keep bringing tips for you every week and little crafts and ideas of just, you know, doing the things we have to be done and enjoying it at the same time. So, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next video.